Hello and welcome back everybody. Today I'm gonna talk about My Hero Academia's fanbase, but I'm not really gonna talk about the fanbase itself. I'm gonna talk about other people and how they view the fanbase as a whole, because a lot of the time when you run into someone who isn't a fan of My Hero Academia, they know about it. They are just not interested in the series. Maybe they're like one of those people who just refuse to accept anything other than One Piece, you know, whatever. I wanna talk about how they view us My Hero Academia fans, at least a great amount of them. Now I'm mostly talking hate here so if you're just one of those neutral people this is not aimed at you at all I'm, I can assure you so the first thing that I really want to talk about is a lot of people seem to get the idea that if you like My Hero Academia, you view My Hero Academia on a very high pedestal compared to any other series even if you like read lots of series, you watch a lot of anime shows, people think that you view My Hero Academia so highly just because that's what you talk about most of the time. Like me for instance, you know, I talk about My Hero Academia a lot on this channel, but that doesn't mean that My Hero Academia is the only thing that I love, it doesn't mean that it's the only series that I view very highly. In fact, there's a lot of mangas and a lot of anime that I would consider to be very close to My Hero Academia, even on like a very subjective level, because My Hero Academia isn't objectively the best out there, you know, that would be crazy talk. But me personally, I really enjoy My Hero Academia because it is such a interesting show in my opinion. Yeah, that's the characters and the whole superhero theme, of course, because I think that's what really keeping me interested because it's a theme that I'm used to in a way because of the fact that, you know, in the West, we have superhero comics from DC and Marvel. You know, this is the sort of stuff that we're used to. So I think in the West, My Hero Academia was a great hit, mostly because of that, you know, people are just interested in that kind of stuff because it's nothing new you know we know we're gonna like it because of the fact that it's something we've seen or read before it's just from a different creator in a different part of the world so the idea that maybe other mangas or other anime are just absolute trash by comparison to My Hero Academia, no matter who you ask in the My Hero Academia fandom, it's just completely false. And I just wanted to bring that up because a lot of people seem to think this, like one of the very common things that I haven't heard myself, but a lot of people seem to hear this from other people, which is that they say that if you read My Hero Academia and love it so much, My Hero Academia must be the only manga you're reading, which kind of tells us a great deal about how MHA haters and whatever, how they view a My Hero Academia fan. So yeah, I just thought I'd bring that up because it is one of the biggest points that I've been really annoyed at, but not at the same time, you know, I'm not gonna attack anyone for it. I'm just gonna bring it up in a video and we'll see what happens in the comment section, I suppose, because maybe someone who is a hater or just simply don't like the series as much as we do, they'll, they'll come around and they'll comment yeah, we'll see what happens, guys, okay? Maybe nothing will happen. Who knows? The next thing that I want to talk about is the originality argument that a lot of people who aren't fans seem to use. They're obviously saying that, you know, no, My Hero Academia is not original at all, so why do you like it? And it's so predictable, overhyped, you know, why do you even read and watch this? And in my opinion, that's a really stupid thing to say because something doesn't have to be original and it doesn't have to be unpredictable in order to be enjoyable. I mean, just look at most shonen, Naruto, Dragon Ball, One Piece, they're all kind of predictable in a sense. The original originality of all of these series are of course very different depending on the series but when it comes to the whole predictability topic I think they're all kind of in the same boat really. Now the originality when it comes to My Hero Academia is of course it's not original because at the end of the day it's superheroes as I've said. It's just you know a series that we enjoy you know I don't really need stuff to be completely new as long as the story is captivating and you know as I said I like the characters and whatnot that's really all there is to it. The main character is a crying little bitch is something that I think any My Hero Academia fan has heard and we all fucking hate these people because it is the stupidest shit I've heard. Not in the sense that you are not allowed to not like someone who's a crying little bitch but because it kind of gives us the idea that you have a problem with someone who has a very realistic emotional range as opposed to someone like Natsu or Asta who seemingly don't have the same capacity for emotion as someone like Izuku Midoriya because Izuki Midoriya is of course someone who he's had quite a rough time growing up because of Bakugo and you know he didn't have a quirk things were a lot tougher for him than it was for most other people so for him to have these emotions pouring out at times you know depending on the situation it should be quite expected that is something you should be able to predict but it is something that is developing throughout the story because he doesn't cry as much 
much now in the manga as he used to earlier on in the series because, you know, he has learned to grasp a lot of things. He has built a better relationship with Bakugo compared to when the series was starting. I mean, not to say they're best friends anymore. They probably would be considered best friends, but they had a very big falling out at some point, and you know, they have to mend that. Mostly because of Bakugo, of course, because he couldn't accept the fact that Deku suddenly had a quirk, and he thought, you know, Deku was looking down on him, and yeah, before that, Bakugo has viewed him as a weakling because he didn't have a quirk. So naturally, there's a lot of things that is taken into account when it comes to Deku and his emotional range, and you really should shouldn't have a problem with that but if you do you know that's your opinion I guess but it shouldn't be a reason not to read the series it really shouldn't be I mean Deku isn't my favorite character but I am still really interested in the story it is really captivating in my opinion especially more so than maybe Black Clover and some of the other new mangas not to say it's the only good new manga or anything it really isn't but it is definitely my currently ongoing personal favorite without a doubt the last thing that I'm gonna talk about is the fights in My Hero Academia because a lot of people, they're really not satisfied with how they're not as well choreographed as maybe a fight in Black Clover or Naruto and whatever, you know, where the fights all look really good and that's really all there is to that these fights, you know, they look really good. People fail to see the meaning behind the fights in My Hero Academia because the meanings behind the fights in My Hero Academia is really the point of the fights. Whether they look good is not really that important. You know, you're gonna have a few fights in My Hero Academia that may look really good but most of these fights haven't really been in the anime yet, to be honest. And, you know, once once they arrive, I'm sure there's still gonna be hate surrounding these fights for whatever reason, but you have to look at the meaning behind the fights rather than actually just thinking a fight has to look good in order for it to be good. Before I end the video, I really just want to give a small input on the My Hero Academia fanbase because there are bad fans and there are good fans. This applies to any fanbase, really, and My Hero Academia has some pretty toxic, some pretty aggressive fans you know much like the one piece fan base the fairy tale fan base and whatever you know you know you're gonna run into people that are angry that are aggressive they will try to lash out at you for even the smallest of reasons and for any non my hero academia fans i really apologize if you run into one of these from the my hero academia fan base because they can be pretty fucking stupid and pretty obnoxious you know there's all kinds of negative energy coming from these people i really don't want you to associate these people with the rest of the fan base because the rest of the fan base is really a good bunch of people even if our opinions may differ from other fan bases anyway i'd love to know what you guys think down below in the comments about fan bases in general you know what's your experiences with the MHA fan base what's your experiences as an MHA fan with other fan bases because I think everyone has a story to tell really even if it's not as exciting as maybe someone else's but there's gonna be a story to tell regardless of who you ask even if it's just a really short experience you've had you know I'd love to know Honestly, I would. I'll read every comment, even if I don't respond to them. But yeah, anyway, with that said, if you did, be sure to Detroit smash that like button if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. This has been Chaotic Plus, and remember, and this is the important part, Toga is waifu, Toga is laifu.